And the winner is... Hi everyone, welcome to DMFA Digital Marketing for Asia. My name is Joanna and I am a marketing manager working here at Softbank Telecom Europe. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the biggest and hottest marketing trends in Japan. Nikkei Marketing Journal is a publication that covers marketing and advertising trends and news. It provides in-depth um, research and analysis on marketing and advertising topics, including consumer behavior, market research, branding, and digital marketing. The publication also covers industry trends and events and publishes lists of Japan's trending products and services on a regular basis. And one of those lists is Nikkei Hit to Shoukin Banzuke. Back in December, Nikkei released their list of the hit products of 2022, and I thought it would be a great idea to have a look and see what is currently trending in Japan. But before we start, as usual, please don't forget to subscribe to our DMFA channel. And if you're interested in digital marketing trends in Japan, keep on watching this video. Are you ready? Let's go! At first, let me explain how it works. The Nikkei Marketing Journal Hit Product List compiles both products and services that were released between October 2021 and September 2022. Those products and services can be both Japanese as well as non-Japanese. If there was a product released earlier, however, it became a huge hit during this period, it can also be included in the list. Also, products that made the list in the previous year are excluded from this year's ranking. The products are judged on three criteria. The first one is sales. How big were the sales and market share? How many people purchased the products? And how long did the sales continue? The second criteria is novelty. Was it a groundbreaking product or technology? Is it something that has never been seen or done before in terms of marketing or sales methods? And the third one is influence. Did it influence people and other companies to follow the suit? Or was it something totally unprecedented or maybe changed people's lifestyles or social norms? Final list is a compilation of 30 products or services and it is based on data from the consumer survey and aims to highlight products and services that are currently in high demand. It is a great idea to always keep up with this list in order to stay informed about the current consumer trends and market demand. Apart from the actual list, the journal also appoints the so-called grand champions. And what's interesting, in 2022, the champions, rather than a product or like a physical product or a service, the winners turned out to be we can say concepts or should I say consumer behavior trends that were very prominent um, during 2022. To be exact, consumer um, attitude towards spending. The first one is COSPA and COSPA is short from cost performance, which we can understand as value for money. And the second concept or the second trend was TAIPA which means time performance, which we can understand as a performance in relation to the amount of time spent. And the third champion was actually a hashtag, hashtag Sandenburi, which means first time in three years. And it usually points to the revival of activities that have been put on hold since 2020 due to the global pandemic. For example, summer festivals who alone generated an economic impact estimated at 40 million Japanese yen. As well as demand by tourists from abroad from mid-October was also expected to provide a stimulus to the economy. Nikkei Marketing Journal also noted that the popularity of football is on the rise due to activities related to the 2022 FIFA World Cup in which Japan, although defeating Germany and Spain in the group stage, was eliminated by Croatia in the knockout round. And now let's move on to the list of the 30 most popular products of 2022. 
22. I don't think we have time to look at all 30 of them, but let me um, discuss top five ones in a little bit more detail, starting from the fifth place. In the fifth place, we have Kanzen Meshi. Kanzen Meshi is an instant rice meal. It advertises itself as a well-balanced meal in a junk food disguise. And it is particularly popular uh, among men in their 30s and 40s who may not be <laughs> the most um, diet conscious people. As you probably know, Japan is rich in all sorts of instant foods. I think we all know the instant ramen noodles. So yeah, from instant ramen noodles to curry and rice and even instant hot pots, it is all available in all of the convenience stores across the country. And I think why they are so popular is the fact that it's just so simple to make them by just adding boiling water and having a full meal available within minutes without having to prep anything and buy lots of ingredients and then, you know, put some time and effort into cooking it. It's very simple and convenient. However, we have to remember that it is not the healthiest option and we shouldn't be eating only instant meals in order to stay healthy. The fourth place may come to you as a surprise <laughs> because it was actually Top Gun Maverick, the Tom Cruise movie. At the time of publishing the list, it raked over 10 billion Japanese yen at the box office since the debut. It is actually not the only item on the list that brings this little bit of the 90s nostalgia. Coming strong in the 13th place, there is the Tamagotchi Smart, which is a modernized version of everyone's favorite 90s toy. Did you have a Tamagotchi? I remember when I had my Tamagotchi and I loved it. Oh my God. I remember I got mine when I was in kindergarten. It was red. In the third place, we have this very nice looking cooling neck ring. And this product is filled with a NASA developed PCM gel that cools very quickly in either ice water, fridge, or even under the AC. And then you can put it on and it acts as a summer talisman, keeps the very humid Japanese summer away. There are adult and children sizes, as well as variety of different colors and textures that go well with every outfit. In the second place, we have Chikawa. What is a chikawa? So when I was trying to research what is a chikawa, I found uh, information that nobody really knows what it is. Uh, all we know is that it is small, it is cute, and it looks like it's always having a good time. It is a Japanese manga series by Nagano. It's been serialized online via Twitter uh, since January 2020, and an anime television series adaptation premiered in April 2022 since the second place on the list. And the winner is... Yakult 1000. Yakult, or in Japanese, Yakurto. Yakurto, Yakurto, Yakurto. It's sweetened probiotic fermented milk beverage, and it has the bacteria strain, which is called Lacti Casei Bacillus Casei Shirota. It is quite iconic, if I may say so myself. So Yakult 1000 was released back in April last year, and it became hugely popular. It was first only available for delivery, but later on it was also released to be bought at stores. The new drink packs a punch of 1 billion units of the friendly colony forming bacteria. And users say that they can really feel it. Many people have reported a positive uh, impact on their stress levels after regularly drinking the Yakult 1000. And a large number of Twitter users claim that the elixir has um, a remarkably positive effect on their sleeping and the sleep quality. And some people even say that it gave them wicked dreams, whatever that means. A majority of people said that they were able to sleep more deeply after drinking the, the drink. It sells for 150 yen for a 100 milliliter bottle. And between April and September, the company sold an average of more than 1.8 million bottles per day. And there's been already loads of other companies and brands coming up with similar products. So yeah, those are five 
most viral hit products of 2022 in Japan. But there is also a few products that I think deserve an honorable mention. I simply felt that they are very interesting. So in number eight, we have a Nissan Sakura, which is an electric vehicle sold over 36 1,600 times in just four months. In number 12, uh, there is the Sheen app, uh, which mainly attracts the Generation Z with very cheap and fashionable clothing. In 25th place, we have the Ryoko Gacha, which was a very exciting vending machine campaign by Peach Airlines, where people could win a random trip. And I think what we could notice is that many of this year's items tended to lean towards Japan's youth. No fewer than five items were related to domestically produced manga and anime. I think it's also worth noticing that, as I said before, according to the 2022 main themes in customer spending behavior, loads of items and products were frequently related to value for money and the time performance, Kospa and Taipa. I think it reflects consumer concerns about the inflation. Nikkei Marketing Journal also revealed their trend predictions for 2023. Increase in popularity of post-pandemic weight loss and diet products and services. We could already see over the past few months that the new convenience store style gyms with five minute per session classes or entries have been taking Japan by storm. The second trend, the second prediction is that people will move away from Instagram towards other platforms. The third one is that we can expect a very big NFT boom. And last but definitely not least, we will see an increase in sales of electric cars and vehicles. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you could learn something new about current trends in Japan. I really want to know what was your favorite product or maybe which product surprised you the most. I will post the link to the full list in the description down below. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. And yeah, let me know what you think. Make sure to leave me a comment in the description down below. DMFA Digital Marketing for Asia is a part of the SoftBank Group and we provide digital marketing services and support brands with market entry into Japan. So should Japan be a part of your expansion strategy for 2023, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Our team of bilingual Japanese experts can support you or your agency with online ads, e-commerce strategy, SEO localization, social media marketing and more get in touch to learn more about our services and how our consultants can support you and your business to grow in japan as usual don't forget to subscribe to our dmfa channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to put on the notification bell we post new videos every monday and yeah i think that's it for today so once again thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very very soon in the next one Bye!